All right, guys, here we go. So um, what we got here is, uh, this is actually section 9.4, sorry. We're going to kind of shift our um, studies here from sequences to series, and they're very similar. Um, I'm by myself. I'll take this mask off. They're very similar um, in their structures. A sequence is just a list of numbers using a pattern. A series is when you take that same sequence and you just sum them or add them together. Okay, so um, like for instance, where this would be a sequence, this now turns that sequence into a series. Okay, there is infinite and finite series. Infinite means that they go on forever. Like for instance, the first one, I know it goes on forever because, sorry, if these had pluses. If these had pluses and these were series, okay, then if it has dot, dot, dot at the end, that's an infinite series because the dot, dot, dot means it goes on forever. If it stops, then it's a finite series. They also might do something like this where they're letting you see the pattern. They're saying, okay, there's a lot more numbers, but it stops at 100. This would also be finite because, again, there's not a dot, dot, dot at the end, okay? Um, now... New symbol here, S of N. This means sum, okay? So this is when you're going to find the sum of a series. And if I would write S of, let's say, 10, that would mean sum the first 10 terms. If I would write S of 8, that would mean sum the first 8 terms. S of 50 would mean sum the first 50 terms, and so on, okay? So if I want to find the sum of some amount of terms, of n terms, for an arithmetic series, okay? So this is, let's write this out officially. The sum of a finite arithmetic series can be found using this formula. The sum of those n terms that they want is equal to the number of the number of terms over 2, n over 2, times a of 1 plus a of n. So what that means, again, if I wanted to find the sum of the first 50 terms, okay, let's give you an example. This would be sum of the first 50 terms. What I would do is I would do 50 over 2 times, this of course means the first term, plus this of course means the 50th term. Okay, and that will always give you the sum for that. Um, so let's do a couple of these. Let's say we have this series here. 2 plus 4 plus 6 dot, 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 100. So this is a finite series because it does not have a dot, dot, dot at the end. Okay. The point here, the hard thing is that we need to know what term number the 100 is. Okay. I don't know how many terms right now looking at this that I want to sum. I need to figure out what term this is. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to first write an explicit formula for this series. That would be the explicit formula is the first term, 2, plus n minus 1 times the common difference, which of course d is also in this case 2. Okay? Now, what we're going to do here to make this easy to solve is we're going to distribute. So this is the explicit formula. This is that explicit formula distributed. And when I combine like terms, I get that the most simplified version of the explicit formula is 2a. So, I know that any number in this series can be found using this explicit formula, 2n. Now, what I want to do is I want to solve, I want to see what number term this is. So I'm going to set a of n, I'm going to let that be 100, and I'm going to solve for n, and n is going to tell me what term number this is. This could be the 10th term, the 20th term, the 1,000th term, I don't know, until, of course, I find out. So 100 equals that explicit formula, 2n. And now I just want to solve for n. And I realize 
that 100 is the 50th term. So now I can find the sum of the first 50 terms, which would of course be 50 over 2 times the first term 2 plus the last term 100. I could type that exact thing into my calculator to keep it as easy on myself as possible. Alpha y equals, boom, 50 over 2. No, whoops, 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 whoops. 50 arrow down over 2 arrow out parenthesis 2 plus 100 close it. The sum of the first 50 terms is equal to 2550. Okay. Well, let's do another one. How about 4 plus 9? plus 14, plus 19, dot, 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 99. So again, I've got the first term, I've got the last term. What I need is to know what term number this is. I need to know how many terms I'm summing together. So again, we'll write the explicit formula, which the explicit formula of a geometric sequence, again, is this. Let's just write it. You should know this. So I've got that the first term is 4 plus n minus 1 times d, of course, in this case, they are adding 5. So let's distribute this. So the explicit formula could be written as 5n minus 1. I just combine like terms. So now to find what term number 99 is, I take 99, I set it equal to the explicit formula and I solve. So 100 equals 5n, which means, of course, that 20 is equal to n. I'm summing the first 20 terms. So the sum of the first 20 terms is going to be equal to the amount of terms I have, 20 over 2, times the first term, 4, plus the last term, 99. Here we go again with my calculator. Alpha y equals, to get my little fraction bar, okay, 20 over 2 parenthesis 4 plus 99. We'll close that off and see what we got. The sum of the first 20 terms of this series is equal to 1,030. 1,030. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Sorry, I've seen if there, uh, there is one more type of problem that I want you to be able to do. Okay, this is more of a calculator type problem here. And this is what's called summation notation. Summation notation. Okay. Um, and what they do is they give you something that they want to sum. Like, for instance, first of all, this is the mathematical symbol for sum. It's like a fancy E. Okay, and one of the ones they might give us is something like this. Let me tell you what this means. This means that you want to sum from term 1 to term 10. So they list the least number term on the bottom, the greatest number term on top. You're going to sum from term 1 through term 10 of the sequence that is produced by plugging numbers into this explicit formula. So if I would plug in a 1 here, 3 times 1 is 3, minus 4 is negative 1. Negative 1 would be the first term. If I plug in a 2, 3 times 2 is 6, minus 4 is 2. If I plug in a 3, 3 times 3 is 9, minus 4 is 5. So you can see that how this sequence or series would be formed. The pattern is, of course, to add 3. It's arithmetic. But they're just asking you for this sum. And this is just a calculator button. You want to go to math? Oh, I forget where this one is, so let me look for a second. Oh, yes, you hit up, and you get down here to option number zero, which says summation. and has this little E sum symbol there. And it brings you up this blank template that looks just like our summation example here. Okay? And all you will do is instead of using N, just use an X. N, X equals 1, arrow up to 10. Using the explicit formula, 3x minus 4. And I hit equals, and it shoots me out the answer. 
125. Okay, that's very easy. Okay. I think that's all we got. All right, so uh, we'll get some practice in tomorrow, and then we will work on geometric series on Friday. All right, see you guys.